Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here and honestly, I'm a little bit happy that the lighting is still all messed up and also horrible because you can kind of see it a little bit, but like my face, everything, my shoulders, back is, is just peeling super, super bad. I got so horribly sunburnt uh, this past weekend. It was my first weekend in Florida, um, you know, went out to the beach, hung out all day and, and now I'm just in pain. Like it's actually really bad. I'm um, getting like some, some blisters and cracks and all this. Stuff. I don't know. It, it hurts and it sucks. And if the lighting was better, you'd be able to see it way, way worse. My face and whole body is like a bunch of different colors. Who knows? But I am really, really excited. That's kind of the bad news. The good news is that I'm really excited to be talking about some big news coming out of the LCS today. Um, I, I, I enjoy covering competitive League of Legends. Um, you know, talking about like the LEC, LCS, MSI, Worlds, all that stuff is really, really fun. But at the end of the day, my favorite stuff to do is cover uh, roster changes, roster moves, to speculate about different rumors and potential rosters and just really kind of theory craft and all this stuff. Um, so MSI has been fun and it's going to still be fun, but I'm glad we actually have some news coming out of the LCS today because all of a sudden there was like nothing for like a week or so and now there's just a ton of moves all happening at once. So that's what we'll be talking about today. Definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy it. I would appreciate that a ton and subscribe to save up to date on all my latest content. I think like 50% of the people that watch my videos are still not subscribed, um, which means we have so much more room to grow, so much more room to run those numbers up. That would be insane. With that being said, let's get right into this. So, uh, today, we're mostly going to be talking about Golden Guardians, but over the next couple of days, we will be diving into uh, some of the other teams that are actually making some changes. A lot of the other ones are still kind of work in progresses, but uh, Golden Guardians made some pretty drastic pretty major changes today. And I know Golden Guardians isn't exactly the most exciting team in the world or anything like that, but this is not the Golden Guardians that, you know, finished last place, like, three or four different splits or whatever. This is a Golden Guardians team that's kind of been on the fringe. You know, they've been one of the middle of the pack LCS teams and heck, they finished better than TSM in this past split. Um, so I, I, I do think in some ways, Golden Guardians has obviously been making some changes. Um, they got hit really hard by COVID. I mean, they had uh, who he... Uh, they had FBI, uh, they had Closer, you know, they had the makings of an LCS championship team, then they got hit by COVID, now they're trying to build back up. I, I think in a lot of ways, this uh, organization probably deserves more respect um, than they actually get, but um, one of the big rumors we had coming out, this is from LCS Evie, he said, sources, but not 100%. Leader will be joining GGS for the upcoming LCS split. Now, this is interesting just wording because he says sources, then he says not 100%, and then he says leader will be joining. So, like, he makes it sound like leader is going to be joining Golden Guardians, but also says it's not 100%. Um, he does say he thinks it's for Academy, but again, not 100%. He says it depends on whether Ole gets his green card or not. And this is something that uh, Wulu had rumored before. Wulu had said, hey, he thinks or he's hearing that Ole could possibly get his green card or maybe even will likely get his green card before the summer split. Um, and then that would open up an import slot for Golden Guardians. Right now, their two imports are Pride Stalker and Ole. And uh, if Ole becomes a resident, then uh, Wulu had said that Golden Guardians could potentially look at either importing at the AD carry position or importing in the mid lane. Now, importing an AD carry... Uh, uh, is something that some teams have chosen to do in the past in the LCS, but it's never really seemed to work out that well. Um, obviously, Sven with Cloud9 is a guy that's worked out well, but um, you know we've seen other ones like Bang with 100 Thieves or um, you know like Kabe with TSM. And it, I don't know. Overall, this AD carry doesn't seem like the best position to import because there's a lot of decent to good North American AD carries, uh, and, and North America is just really weak at a lot of other positions, most notably uh, like top lane and mid lane. Um, so if you're importing AD carry and, and sticking resident players in some of these other positions, usually it leaves you a little bit worse off. So um, then, you know, maybe mid lane would be the position they're going to import. But a blaze olive has been decent. He's had some splits better than others. Um, he, he's been OK. Some splits. He's been even good. Some splits, I would say. I really think, um, you know, the summer of 2021, I was really impressed with him. I wasn't as impressed with him in spring of 2022, but I didn't think he was bad. I didn't think he's like the problem with Golden Guardians. But, um, you know, if they could get a, a big import, if they could get an exciting import, hey, maybe that would be the way to go. Um, but apparently leader, at least according to Evie, was one of the guys they were looking at. But then again, he does say, I'm like 25% confident on this one, LOL. But later in the day, we got this from Wulu. Uh, he actually dropped a big, big, big bomb on us um, that 80 carry Stixay 
is going to be starting for Golden Guardians in the LCS. And additionally, mid laner leader is going to play for the Golden Guardians Academy team. So in just a couple hours, this went from, hey, Evie's like 25% sure about this happening, but it's a rumor. He's hearing stuff to all of a sudden Wulu saying, this is happening. Stick say, coming to Golden Guardians from, I believe he was their coach last split, one of their coaches last split, and then leader coming over, still signed with Vitality um, into the team. So we'll have to dive into this article real quick to see what's going on. But um, what Wulu has to say here, this is Broik Seeger, that is Wulu's um, you know, real name, IRL. He says, Golden Guardians will field bot laner uh, Stixe in their League of Legends Championship Series roster, sources told Upcomer on Tuesday. Additionally, leader uh, has signed with the North American organization and will play on the Academy team. Uh, Stixe is going to replace Law. Lost, again, Lost was obviously their 80 carry last split, who is heading to Immortals, uh, as reported by Upcomer. So that is, you know, another big thing going on. Um, I know Immortals tweeted out, like, thank you, Wild Turtle, or whatever. Um, obviously, Immortals struggled this past split. Uh, I think they ended up finishing 10th. I think they were actually tied with TSM. So you can call it 19, call it 10th, call it whatever you want. Um, but AD carry was definitely one of the weak points. Wild Turtle did not look that great. Uh, and then Arrow came in and, and maybe looked worse. So um, obviously Immortals needed to figure something out there. And I don't think Lost was like amazing for Golden Guardians this last split. Um, I don't think he's terrible. I think he's just kind of an average LCS AD carry, um, maybe a little bit above average some weeks, maybe a little bit below average other weeks. Um, if you have Lost, you're, you're probably going to be a fine team. You're probably not going to be terrible. Again, he's played on two solid teams so far, TSM in 2021 and uh, Golden Guardians now in 2022. Neither team has been disastrously bad, but obviously Lost has not really been a, a standout player on either one of them, but he's a cheap, capable option. Um, and honestly, for Immortals, I think Lost will do better than what they got last split from uh, Wild Turtle and what they got from Arrow. So in some ways, maybe that's exciting for Immortals, but obviously Lost isn't the most exciting pickup in the world either, um, but it, it might be a slight improvement there. Who knows for sure? Um, but obviously lost out of Golden Guardians, Stixe coming in. This follows a, uh, a fifth place finish in the LCS for the Golden Guardians main team. However, Stixe isn't new to this as he started the spring split as a bot laner for Golden Guardians Academy. He then ended up moving to a coaching position for the main team in March. As a consequence, Violet took his position um, and Golden Guardians Academy ended up finishing third place in the spring. Uh, the Academy team of Golden Guardians will also see changes to summer split as leaders now joining the organization. Again, he's going to be uh, replacing Ryoma. Um, and then leader has had a weird offseason because he was originally slated to join Koi uh, in the Superliga. That's Ibai's team um, over in the Spanish League. But then that fell through. I think the latest rumor, or, or maybe it's confirmed, is that they're going to be getting Zico, I think is the name. But I, I'm not 100% sure on that. But that's not even what we're talking about in this video. Um, so then the question becomes, can leader or, or will leader be promoted to the main team eventually? And obviously that has something to do with Ole's green card. So he does say with jungler pride soccer and Ole um, filling up the two import slots of golden guardians main team, it is not impossible for leader to eventually get promoted. This is because Ole is currently in the process of acquiring his green card. If he gets his green card, Ole would become a resident freeing up the opportunity for leader to start. However, it is important to note that this isn't a specific situation for leader as any player on the golden guardians team could be promoted in the future. Um, a blaze olive is obviously currently the mid laner. Um, but this just gives them more options. Now, this is kind of interesting in a lot of ways because I know there's going to be people on both sides of this. There's uh, people who think a Blaze Olive is good or sucks. There's people who think Leader is good or sucks. Um, obviously, he's had good splits in the ERLs before, but his most recent stint with Vitality in the LEC didn't really go that great. He's also very controversial because Leader, if you don't know, has a very interesting champion pool. He likes to play a lot of melees when he was most recently in the LEC. Um, I, it seemed like every week I was watching, he was playing Viego mid all the time, but he likes playing the Viego. He likes playing the Yone. He likes playing Akali, you know, the, the, the aggressive fast carry melee champions. Uh, and in the ERLs and in the LEC, his, his stats, his win rates, everything has always been better on those melee champions than on control mages or even just range champions in general. Um, but when leader's good, he's really good. He can carry games. He can have a good impact, but there's always going to be questions about his consistency, about his champion pool, stuff like that. Um, but obviously his most recent split, he struggled a little bit in the LEC with Vitality, but then the argument can also be made that the LCS mid lane pool is much weaker than the LECs and leader could come over and still be very, very good. Uh, of course, we just saw Blue, who also struggled his last time in the LEC, come over to the LCS and he looked pretty solid. Uh, and I think most people would say leader's probably a better mid laner than Blue, probably a better mid lane prospect than Blue. Um, so, you know, maybe he's going to have a chance to come over and do better as well. But again, all this is, is kind of um, on the, the, whenever Ole is going to get his green card is how this is all going to potentially work out. And just because Ole gets his green card doesn't mean leader is going to get brought up. Doesn't mean a blaze Olive is going to get benched. Um, but either way, 
this should add to the practice environment. I think uh, having leader on your academy team is probably makes more sense than having Ryoma on your academy team at this point um, because Ryoma, you know, really seems to have been, he's a very, very good academy mid laner. He's just not LCS caliber. And I don't really think, um, you know, he was ever going to be the guy to replace a blaze olive. And that doesn't mean leaders necessarily going to be either, but, um, Hey, maybe this is just him taking a chance on that. And, and honestly, a, a leader pride stalker mid jung duo, that sounds fast, aggressive, crazy. And, and that could maybe potentially win you some games. Who knows for sure. Um, we'll have to wait and see, but I know there is going to be a lot of people who are like, Oh, cool. Awesome move by golden guardians. And I know there's going to be a lot of people who also hate this move from Golden Guardians as well, um, but I did think it was big news either way. And then there's also the fact of, you know, Stixay, how is he going to be for Golden Guardians? Is he going to be better than Lost? Is he going to be worse than Lost after playing an academy and then coaching, you know, taking the, the time off playing professionally, all that stuff. Um, Stixay is a guy who's had a crazy career. He's been at times the best AD carry in the LCS and at times he's looked like the worst AD carry in the LCS. Um, so it seems like these are some, some high risk, high reward moves potentially for Golden Guardians. Um, nothing super crazy. I mean, I don't think stick is like an insane pickup or leaders like an insane pickup. Um, and I don't think either one of these moves like now makes them a world's contender all of a sudden. Um, so maybe I'm a little bit confused. Maybe they're a little bit weird, but who knows? I, I guess they're, it's just cool to get some interesting news at this point, but that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. I mean, drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate that so, so much. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about these moves. Do you think these moves are good for Golden Guardians? Bad? Somewhere in between. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe, save today, and all my latest content. Hopefully, catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.